Hey, what's up guys? We are back. And in this video, we have some great news to talk about with the Nintendo Switch. The launch has come and gone and the numbers are not in, but the sales results are being called by Nintendo as the greatest two-day sales numbers of all time for a system launch in Nintendo's history. So Nick Winfield, a reporter at the New York Times, had an interview with Reggie fils aimé concerning the Switch sales. And the interview was broken down in a bunch of tweets that he posted. Basically, it said, update on Nintendo Switch sales, I'll break into multi-tweet. This is from an interview with Reggie fils aimé of Nintendo of America. Friday through Saturday sales, that's two days, exceeded first two-day sales in America as for any system in Nintendo's history. The next biggest was the Wii. And we all know the Wii sold 100 million consoles worldwide and was the most successful home console in Nintendo's history. Then he goes on to say, this is particularly notable given that Switch launched in March rather than the holidays. And of course, we know that the Wii and Wii U both launched in holiday 2012 and 2006, respectively. And of course, during the holiday push, those sales are going to be inflated because, of course, everyone wants to buy something during that time of the year. Another thing notable about the launch in the Americas, it brought out that Zelda Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Switch was the best-selling standalone launch title in Nintendo's history for the two days, beating out Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64 back in 1996. So again, they're not releasing actual numbers for the launch sales, but estimations online have been anywhere between 250 to 300,000 for those two days, which would be the most Nintendo has ever had, of course. The Wii and Wii U launches were judged by a full week on the shelves. So the Wii U back when it launched in November 2012, during the one week launch that it was on store shelves, it sold over 400,000 systems. And the Wii in comparison, in eight days, it sold 600,000 systems during the holidays. So we don't have anything to compare to really with two-day sales with the Nintendo Switch in numbers, but according to Nintendo, it is the biggest selling in Nintendo's history. So that's quite a milestone. And that's for all the Americas they're saying. So that is North America, Canada, South America, I'm assuming, because he said Americas there in the interview. And what about for Europe, you may ask? Well, we do have sales figures for the UK, but we don't have sales figures for the entire Europe and we don't have sales figures for Japan yet. But for the UK, it was very successful. It was brought out today by GI Biz. It said that the Nintendo Switch sold around 80,000 units during its opening weekend in the UK. Now, in comparison to the Wii U, the Wii U sold 40,000 units in its opening weekend. So that's double the amount of the Wii U. But in comparison to other systems, it outsold the GameCube with 69,000 and the Game Boy Advance with 67,000. But in comparison to the Nintendo DS, the Wii, 3DS, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, all those systems have sold more than the Nintendo Switch. So I would say the Switch is about in the middle of the pack as far as success is in the UK. PS4 sold 250,000 during its launch weekend and the Wii sold 105,000, 3DS, 113,000 in its launch weekend. So the Switch at 80,000 is successful. It's right about in the middle there. So it's much better than the Wii U, but not quite as good as the other competition. And in regards to Europe as a whole, we don't have information on that, and we don't have information on Japan numbers yet. But from various people, they have said that the system is basically sold out in Japan, and many places in the United States are saying that it's sold out as well. However, there are also people online in the United States who have also seen some stock of the Switch in various different places and some places are completely bone dry and some places do have a little bit of stock. So depending on where you are, you may find a Switch or you may not find a Switch at all. So well, overall though, it is a very high seller in the United States and hard to find, but it is definitely dependent on your location. Nintendo may have shipped a lot more to certain places in the country, like California for example. So regardless of that fact, it's a record sales amount for the Nintendo Switch for a Nintendo system, so that's quite an accomplishment. Historically, Nintendo systems have sold much better in the United States than anywhere else. So Europe and Japan, sales numbers are usually reduced, but overall, I think it's off to a great start. And next, we wanna talk about one of the partners from Nintendo, Silicon Studio, has announced that they are bringing their middleware technology to the Nintendo Switch. This would be the PostScript middleware Yebis and the all-in-one game engine Orochi which has over 40 different dev tools. But the, what caught my eye the most was their next generation game engine called Zenko, 
which will be out in April, which is next month. And all those are going to be made compatible with the Nintendo Switch. And some really cool things about this graphics game engine is that it has all the bells and whistles of the latest technology available. They're offering physically based rendering, which is better known as PBR. This is the technique that Uncharted 4 uses in its game. If you ever played Uncharted 4, you'll see that when you ride your Jeep in the mud, the mud reacts realistically to every turn of the tire and the mud gets caught in the tire, it moves with it, it rolls down the hill. Dirt and water react realistically to objects that touch them. So physically based rendering is currently the high water mark in terms of realistic assets being used in a video game. So this engine is being made compatible for the Nintendo Switch. And it's also gonna be having post effects. It's gonna have all the different type of particle editors and scene editors. So I'm really excited about this because the more engines compatible with having physically based rendering and all these next generation effects being compatible for the Nintendo Switch, it's gonna allow developers to bring their games and any developers as well, make some very advanced looking games for this system. And it could lead to a lot of games from upcoming developers that are made exclusively for the Switch, which is something we're already seeing quite a bit from indie developers, since AAA third parties are just taking a step back and a wait and see approach, making technology like this available, and obviously it's very affordable, to indie developers and all developers is gonna bring more great looking games to the Nintendo Switch and obviously better performance as well. All right guys, so let me know what you think about all this great news in the comment section about the record sales figures in the Americas and of course the great sales in the UK and of course about this great next generation engine coming to the Nintendo Switch. Also guys, I wanna remind you that on Wednesday, two days from now, I'm gonna be having the developer choice provisions on this channel for an interview probably going to be about 15 minutes long or so I'm estimating and we're going to discuss all things Runner 3 the new exclusive game coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall so I'm going to have them right here on this channel and we're going to talk about the Switch and what they think about it and their experience working on the game and much more about them and their company so I really hope you're looking forward to that on Wednesday don't miss it all right guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video Take care.